Hello Endless Void, so who is Kraven the Hunter? Okay, so Kraven was created by Marvel Comics and first debuted in August of 1964. Although he's usually used as an enemy, due to a strict code of honor he follows, this has also allowed him to walk the line of hero. Uh, uh, okay, anti-hero at best. Sergei Nikolovic Kravenov hails from Volgograd, Russia, and on the surface is depicted as a big game hunter with a ridiculous body that's only outshone by his ego. Craven is basically the embodiment of challenging oneself and takes this to the ultimate extreme. Craven is kind of like someone who read the ultimate self-help book and fucking down the Kool-Aid, y'all. Okay, well, this time it's not so much as Kool-Aid as it's herbally enhanced Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, he gets his powers from an herbal medicinal concoction that grants him enhanced abilities to levels of, well, yeah, quite literally being a threat to the web slinger himself. His main enhancements lay in speed, strength, and his tracking senses, but pair this with a mind that conquers in the boardroom and the battlefield, as well as enough money to literally purchase unlimited access to, well, to anything, and having deep connections to international crime families and syndicates, honestly, you get a villain that Marvel has rarely ever lived up to his menacing potential. Now, Craven's comic history is, for the large part, pretty typical to many villain arcs of the 70s and 80s. So, so it's easy to not follow his deeper story arc of obsession, compulsion, and what leads to very, very deep depression. See, although we as viewers get used to the superhero world and the tropes that lie within to ensure that stories continue, we just accept that the characters in this world are used to the whole villain does something bad, tussles with a hero, goes to jail, heroes win, villains lose, rinse and repeat. Although lots of villains and heroes verbally address this constant cycle, we don't often get to see how this affects them on a deeper level. I mean, think about it. Craven is a person who's bested every breathing challenge he's faced since youth to adulthood. He has the power that comes not just from the potions, but also from money. He quite literally may be on par with Kingpin as far as underworld access is concerned if you throw in his regal connections. Yeah, he knows a life of privilege from big old money, but also was brought up under the most torturous and abusive conditions as a child and knows nothing but an obscured value of competition. Basically what I'm saying is Craven's will has never been denied. And then comes this guy. Sergei wasn't just denied victory in battling Spider-Man, he was also introduced to pain, embarrassment, defeat. Can you imagine? What would happen to the mind of a rich, consistently roid-raging tactician with the mental stability of Patrick Bateman if they were introduced to losing for the first time? Obsession levels that would make Annie Wilkes' attention look basically dismissive. It's important to understand the depths of Craven's obsessiveness, because if you combine that with an awareness that he's not only being defeated by Spider-Man, but that he'll never defeat him. Well, you get probably one of the darkest comic book storylines I've personally ever read. So this brings us to the storyline of Craven's Last Hunt. Now, if I were you, I'd probably be guessing that this is a story that ends with Craven's ultimate defeat at the hands of Spider-Man. The scary thing is, it's the exact opposite. Craven wins, and he does it in the most abhorrent and torturous way possible, introducing Spider-Man to depths of pain and embarrassment that seem to have been birthed by the very defeat that Craven felt at Spider-Man's hands. So after poisoning and knocking out Peter while in costume, Sergei could have easily killed him but instead wanted him to experience death by burying Spider-Man in a coffin. Then to not only prove that he was capable of defeating Spider-Man, but also driven to one-up the Web Slinger by besting Vermin, a villain that Spider-Man had yet to ever defeat on his own. Kraven dressed as Spider-Man and brutally brought justice like Spider-Man never would have. An aging hunter burying and besting an adversary that quite literally gave his life purpose. Faced with this, Craven ends his own life, and even in death found a way to drag Peter's broken soul back through all of this hell, so both he and the spider could hopefully find peace. We're often faced with stories of challenge and defeat, and how the protagonist deals with the struggle, but rarely are we faced with characters who know the struggle that comes with victory. It's a strength to not only achieve your goals, but to also be able to pivot, realign, and create or find new purpose. Craven and Craven's Last Hunt is not just a story about death and loss, but what happens to some people when they win.